You know, Rick, I'm back. The camera ran out of memory space and shut off a while ago. Sorry about that. Well, here it is. I think I got the sunlight where you can see it. It's fairly well asked down. There's the gold foils in that. Now at this point, reach over here, grab the flux again. And attempt to take the cap off one handed. And we pour the flux. And on top of that, wait a few seconds. Let's settle down. Let's see, there's still plenty of flux stuck on the sidewall in there. Must have a little bit of moisture it's condensed inside this jar or something or other. See flux hung on the back wall. No biggie. Anyway, use a smaller in a spice jar right here. Just pack flux down in on top of it a bit. Keeps flux from flying out. Also allows it to get a surface fusion going on it. Therefore, it melts as it gets hot from the surface down to the side walls in. Keeps the flux from blowing out, allow it to get totally molten before it gets down to where the gold and the other paper is at. Turned into basically charcoal because it's been ashed. And I guess at this point, I'm ready to put it over there in the furnace. So, we'll walk over here, ah, uh, change hands, yeah, I think that's about right, it feels pretty solid. My base down in the bottom of this, as you can see, maybe, is totally destroyed. Had a burn through a few years ago with a crucible and it ate everything up inside my furnace real bad. So I'm making do with a messed up chunk of fire brick that's breaking apart from being used many, many a time. I'm going to have to rebuild my furnace sometime soon. But that feels like it's pretty stationary. Stationary enough that I can reach in there and grab it with my tongs, pick it up. I know, I just picked it back up. I'm um, looking at my crucible, making sure that it's all okay. I generally check them better than I just did before I put all that in there. And of course, doing that and messing around with it caused the surface of the flux to unpack. Well, you're getting to see all the different stupid little mistakes I'm doing here while I'm jaggering my jaw, filming what's going on, but... Oh, well. Uh, that feels like it's pretty solid again. Now, at this point, I guess it to the ground as I step over here. I'm going to pull open my plastic coffee filter you know, bucket. Well, it had coffee grounds in it. I use it for keeping strips of toilet paper in. And I use that for lighting my furnace. It lights easy. It burns just hot enough. And when the furnace takes off, it incinerates the paper. So I haven't got paper fragments blowing all over the place that are lit. That could be a fire hazard. Granted, I'm out here on a concrete slab, but the yard is just off over here in the distance, and in the middle of August, with that much grass totally dry brown, it does make an issue. Therefore, I use toilet paper. It's all stuff I figured out. Anyway, what the heck? I am going to have to attempt to light this dang piece of paper one-handed. That's not an issue. Check this out. We'll just set it on the side of the furnace. Light it. Drop it off down inside here. Spin around. Grab the lid. Set it on. 
and crank this on and it's going to get loud. <laughs> run like that for at least 20 minutes before it's done. So I guess I'm going to shut this off and I will pick it back up at the point after I've got through pouring it because there's no way I can set this camera up where you can actually watch what I'm doing when I'm pouring. So I'll pick it back up where it's and um, start the slag off of the slag from the molten lead grill and chat a little bit about that and that there you're probably just going to get bits and pieces of the process that I'm filming because I haven't got someone else to hold the cam for me and I ain't got to stand yet. Doing the best I can and I will be back with another video sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.